welcome back guys to yet another episode in the one couple to one million gold channel never mind uh i'm i'm honestly i might be going insane anyway um I have some exciting news today, just as a little uh, starting information. Uh, before I do anything, of course, if you guys have it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. You like the video, all that good stuff. It's going to help my videos grow even more and get out to even more people. But as the information that I actually wanted to say, I currently have an ongoing giveaway on Twitter. And I'm going to post a link to it down below in the description. And it's a giveaway of six months of game time on on EU only. Now, if you're considering starting EU uh, and you're an NA player, that's totally a possibility. So, uh, But yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy that giveaway. Uh, it's going to run for a little over two weeks to the around the end of February. Uh, there will be an end date on the actual giveaway. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. Join it up and make sure you guys share with your friends that may be needing a little extra game time. And it's also nice, you know, because it's a little bit of a buffer. If uh, if you're getting into gold making in six months, you know, to start it off, it's, it's really nice to have that going already. So... To start off the episode here, we have 63,000 gold in our inventory. Now, in our mailbox here, you can see there is 125,994 gold. This is very, very exciting. You can also see I bought 23 titanium ore for uh, 2,400, 100 per, uh, per titanium ore. I thought that this was a really good deal, so I couldn't really wait until we started recording to get this. But we have that now. Uh, 100, basically 26,000 gold uh, we have sold for since la last week's episode. I mean, can it really be any better than this? We still have a little bit of things left over in the auction house. But I'm really, really happy with this. And as you can see, we uh, finally got rid of some of the Serenai bars. Uh, sadly, we have not made too much. Of, we, we're actually losing around 5 gold each on the Serenai bars. And uh, that's actually okay because we made up for it in the profit that we've been able to make on all the other things. And we've also been able to, on top of that, farm a whole bunch of stuff. So it, it saved us a little bit. But that also goes to show that you can't always guarantee you know, 100% guarantee that you're going to make gold off your investments. And now, overall... I actually think we made more gold on the Serenai bar in investment that we lost. So, either way, I think this is very, very good for us. Um, looking at this, this is very nice. I mean, absolutely amazing. And you can see that we sold the Ar uh, Arcane Crystals that we farmed up. You can see that we sold a lot of Fell Steel bars and Fell Iron bars. So, I'm really, really happy with what we were able to do. But, as you can see here, we still have some Serenite Ore. I'm probably going to smelt that over. Uh, we have Obsidian Bars. We can actually check this out. We have Dark Moon Firewater that we've been able to buy up for uh, 22 gold average. So selling that for a higher price is definitely uh, something that we would want to try and do. We still have Corium Bars. We have a lot of Fell Steel Bars left over. And the same thing with Titanium Bars. Uh, We're going to take some of these things and repost them real quick. Just as as a little extra thing, uh, to check this through here, let's see. Is there anything that we want to put our gold into? We have 95 Volatile Earth for 6 gold. That's a steal and a half for Hardened Elementium for sure. What else? Ghost Iron, 8 gold, 46. This isn't necessarily the cheapest thing ever. Uh, we're probably not going to do anything about that. Not going to touch that. What else do we have? Obsidian ore at 20 gold. Now the bar is only 50 gold. And as you can see, um, there's a lot at 50 gold. We, we could try and reset this potentially. But um, this price has just been going down and down and down. So I think we're going to hold off on that for a little bit. Um, but hey. I mean, 20? That, that puts it together to a 40 gold crafting cost. That's actually not bad at all. Uh, I feel that we can do. And then if it goes down that low, we can probably go into the market and, and do a little something. And then we're looking at here, Serenite Ore, 15, 16 gold. This is, you know, this is pushing it under 
a 30 gold crafting cost. And that we definitely want to. Because Sarah and I bar is still going for 50 gold, which is really good. And we are definitely going to be continuing doing that. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Cobalt ore down to 30 gold each. And we have the cobalt bars at 75. Uh, there's not too much gold here. We could try. We could try this for sure. Uh, it'd be a it'd be a sixty gold crafting cost. This this is a potential. We could check out how good this market still is. It's a long time. We we sold these. We farmed these up very early on in the series, um, and you can see that the market value is sixty eight gold. So it's actually a little higher right now in the minimum buyout. Um, sure, let's try it out. Let's see what we can do with that market right there. Where did I go? Oh, there it is. So there's a lot at 75 gold, obviously. So more competition could bring it down, but we'll see. And then for anything else, for anything else, the Elementium bars are still super duper expensive. It's uh, it's quite crazy how high they are actually. Uh, primal air is getting the lower side. Oh, Corium. We'll take those two. But other than that, I don't feel like there's anything in particular that we probably want. These at 900 gold. We. I'm gonna buy these. Yeah. 900 gold. Yeah. That's definitely worth it. We've been able to sell 43 at an average of 1300. So that's. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. 100%. Uh, other than that, there's not really anything else in terms of all of that. I do want to check moat, moats real quick just to make sure there's nothing. Yeah, no. We can check Spirit of Harmony. You guys know that Spirit of Harmony is a very sought-after item right now. It's actually really high here. Um, how much were the moats? Let's check it one more time. 15. So we can get them for 150 gold. Um, now, obviously the Spirits of Harmony, they're quite high right now, but we can see that the market value is 187, uh, so, so they're on the higher side, even if we got them for 150, it would still be a potentially good flip. I feel like this is worth trying, it's, it's 15, um, so we'll try that out. What else, what else? Attorney more 40? This is on the lower side, uh, I'm not going to lie, but we can actually get them cheaper here. 75 each. Yeah, we're going to get that. How are we doing on the fell steel bars? We still have 28 left. Yeah. 28, and it's free fell steel or fell iron bars. And right now they're at 122 right there. Obviously, the fell iron ore, actually 33 gold. We can make them for... 70 gold so it's 210 plus uh, 150 so 360 that's a really really cheap crafting cost yeah we're gonna uh, yeah we're gonna take these all the way up to that 37 each so it'll, it'll be a little over yeah it'll be 72.5 crafting cost per bar that's actually not bad at all it's pretty no Go away. And then we have... We got the... Yeah, we did. The Eternium Bars. Okay, good. 26. On the Auction House. I guess we're going to take these off. So we can use them to craft. We actually need more. To be able to craft more of the fell Steel Bars. And we've been able to do a lot with those. So maybe we should just get these as a precaution. Because that's pretty cheap. Yeah, I feel like we're good on that. Let's see. Anything else that we want to get into? I don't think there is anything else. Uh, the Elementium bars are really, really expensive. They're on the super pricey side. So that is probably like the next farm that we do. But that is not the plan today. Other than that, I don't feel like there's anything else that we potentially want to go into. I don't feel like there is, no. All right, let's go see what we bought. Let's go look at it real quick here. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of good stuff for sure, for sure. 
right so this is all all the stuff that we obviously canceled so now we go on the auction house again and we post all, all, all the stuff that we already crafted and you can see we want to keep a little bit of dark moon firewater we obviously don't want to get let let go of all of it because of the the use of them keeping 21 should be good uh it's quite a lot of hours of of crafting or not crafting but farming so i think i think we're just fine on that uh other than that we have oh yeah these ones make these into spirits of harmony and then we have a little bit of smelting time i can see here so we're gonna do that right after this combine some materials put it up on the auction house so my plan for today guys my plan for it today was give a little bit of a try besides our auction house for pink because i knew we were gonna have a lot of stock to sell today and a lot of potential flips that we could also do but i knew for a fact that that we would have a lot of stuff to do at the auction house today but i did think about something i said last week in the last episode that we wanted to give transmog a try and i i actually really want to give transmog a try so we are going to do that today we're not going to do too much um if you guys know my twitch channel if you've ever been there before uh, also just on my youtube channel mana tombs is probably the dungeon that i've run through the most times in, in the whole game for multiple mul multitudes of different reasons but that's besides the point uh, the good thing about mana tombs is there is a decent amount of raw gold that you can get from there uh, And you get a lot of materials as well if you have mining And then you also get primal shadows now So in terms of that it's a very forgiving dungeon to farm when you're going for transmog now in terms of the actual transmog that is in uh, in mana tombs, there's not that many things. There's not that many things at all. There's a couple uh, decent black eye, uh, bla black items. Um, there's a couple really decent uh, blue items, and one of them being Crown of Endless Knowledge. And there's a couple other ones, but it are, I don't recall the names of them. And there's uh, a couple really good green items in there, but I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll, I'll show you guys what we get and then obviously uh, if you're really 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 lucky we can get to the point of potentially getting a, a, a burning crusade uh, uh, epic recipe or a pattern or one of those because they're worth quite a lot of gold and also we could actually learn learn whatever plan it is or pattern or schematic or whatever it is and then we could use it to our advantage start crafting it and potentially sell some of them uh, if I do get one of them, I would probably see if we can we can turn it into a profession. Uh, so yeah, I mean we'll 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 find out what we're gonna be able gonna be able to do with that. It's all very exciting stuff. Uh, it obviously, I mean, the chances of us getting that running through mana tombs is not very high uh the drop chances on these patterns are very 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 low so it's 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 not not to say that it's impossible but it's very tough to get for sure um but we're gonna finish up our smelting of all these things and turning them into other uh products so we can put it up on the auction house and then we're going to venture out into the terracotta forest uh down to the Ark and Dune in Outland. And then we're going to run into Mana Tombs. And then I'll show you guys the route that I use um, at, the, at the last run that we do in there. So n n run number 10 on the hour. But I will see you guys just in a little bit. Or actually, for you guys, it'll be a second, because editing magic, so I'll see you guys in a second. So, we are back here, and we have finished smelting pretty much everything that we could. Uh, we have a couple, like, singular things left over, but that is a-okay. I'm pretty happy with uh, how much we have. We are going to post up pretty much everything. Uh, there's nothing that we want to keep, because we crafted everything that we could. Uh, so we are going to be posting these things up and hopefully a lot of this stuff sells 
Um, 200 gold. That's so insane. 200 gold for Elementium. I mean, can you ask for any more? And we actually saw free Primal Fire here. That's okay. All right. All right. All right. We have 225,000 posts on the Ocean House right now. That's a lot. That is quite a lot. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Uh, now we are going to. So the way, the fastest way to get to Outland on Alliance is you go into the Mage Tower and you take the portal to Shatrath. It's the absolute fastest way. Um, and if you're on Horde, you go into the portal room and you go downstairs in the second portal room and you take the portal to Shatrath. It's the absolute fastest way, especially because we are going to Manitoums. We're giving. We're going to give it a. A try here. We're gonna see if we can get anything, and hopefully we'll get we'll get lucky with some Corium as well, because in Manitoums, there's the potential for Corium to spawn, right? So there's uh, a specific amount of spawns of veins in there that that, that that can spawn, but usually you just get an Amantite, and then obviously mining an Amantite, you can get an Amantite ore, you can get Eternium ore, and then you can get Mode of Earth. Uh, but that's it, right? That is it. Or it, it might be, be mode of earth that's special to only uh, only only Corium that you get primal fire and or mode of fire and mode of earth from that specifically. I don't actually remember, and I I feel like I should remember. It's really interesting that I don't. Uh, but we'll quickly find out. But we're gonna go here. We're gonna run into Manitoums. That is the northern dungeon of the Orkin Dune down here. And we are going to be going through 10 runs of this because that's the maximum amount that you can do in an hour. Now, I just want to put this as a disclaimer for people that are trying to make gold and trying to follow along in the challenge. Doing transmog is not always going to benefit you, especially if you're trying to do this in a timely manner. Usually with transmog, uh, unless you're doing the most popular pieces, it takes a long time to sell. Right, and even with the most popular pieces on some of your servers, they might take a very, very, very long time to sell. Uh, and I just want to make sure that you guys are fully understanding that that's a that's a thing uh, before you 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 go out here and you venture into to what this is. So just before we do anything, that is something you have to at least consider. Now your best option going through Manitoums is is at least on a druid is going into feral because that's the fastest spec because uh, you have dash and you have everything. Um, obviously, you want to take tiger dash. The first one you would take lunar inspiration because you you can use moonfire. This doesn't really matter that much, but if there's some mobs that are out of range that you want to kill still, and that that's a good idea. Uh, the best option you have as well is balance affinity because it increases the range of all your abilities. And then here, this doesn't really matter. Uh, you can pick anything you want. Uh, incarnation, probably the best one uh, out of all of those. I would say um, lowering the cost of fresh and swipe is your best option. And then moment of clarity is probably your best option because that sometimes gives you free uses of shred, fresh, and swipe. So you obviously want all those free abilities out on your uh, toolbar. Uh, something that's also pretty good to have is Soothe, because Soothe is a long-range uh, pull ability. It, it basically dispels enrage effects, but it's not like you're going to do that when it's lower levels of, of, of this. So, you know, you, you just use it to pull something that's far away. Uh, obviously, you can just do that with, with Moonfire as well. It just kind of depends on you. Uh, we are going to find our abilities here under Feral. That's a good reason to have that. And then we have swipe. We're going to put that there. And then we are going to take, where is it? Our boy Fresh right here. And that is all that we need. We're going to uh, get Tiger's Fury as well because that's a little bit more on the free side of things. There we go. And then where is Moonfire? Just so we have it. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here. I'm going to run... Uh, run run through the dungeon nine times 
and then I'll be back with you guys to talk about what we did and and and, and what we got and then I'll run through the last run together with you guys so you can see where I go and what I do and how I finish the dungeon it's a very very simple dungeon and I'll show you guys right in a second all right so we have now completed eight or not eight but nine runs and we are going to continue along here to do the last run <clears throat> and I'll talk to you guys about how it went so uh, going in here uh, obviously you can see the top row of items here that we have gotten is at a man's side we've gotten motor shadow for primal shadows we've been able to get two lock boxes um, blood knight's girdle we've gotten two of those and then we've gotten a sky strider we've gotten a blood knight's gauntlet and then we got a little bit more Eternium more, and then we got a Hedris of Inner Rage. This is one of the blue items that are pretty good from here. Uh, Mother Earth, we actually do get these from Edamantite, so that's nice. And then we had one Corium Vein, so we got four Corium out of that, which is the max you can get. So that's really awesome. And we got three Motor Fire. Now that is everything so far. Uh, the Transmog items that I decided to keep is are very specific ones. So the Blood Knight set is something that I have known to see or at least it's been known to be able to sell at a little bit of a faster pace than a lot of other transmog sets from the burning crusade um, so I decided to keep this because the sell rate is also 0 0.03 value is fine so we're gonna keep these we're gonna see how they potentially do and then also we have the sky strider katana this is a katana and a lot of people like uh, the samurai looking swords um, so that's the reason that I'm keeping that one. You could also see that it had a 0 0.05 sell rate. We actually just got another one of them right there. Uh, so we're going to keep that as well. And then we got the Hedras of Inner Rage, obviously. Uh, so decent on the transmog items. As you can see here, we're following through. It's a very simple dungeon, as you can see here on the map. You literally just run straight through the dungeon. You there is it, it's a linear dungeon right you cannot you can't go like two different ra ways is literally forwards or backwards that that's it uh there there's there's no confusing parts about this dungeon i like to to run around to these groups and kill and then loot because this is what i got comfortable with a lot of people also enjoy running through the whole dungeon and pulling the whole thing and then killing everything as a group i don't really enjoy that because a lot of these mobs slow you and they stun you and i don't know it's just i i like running to each pack killing them and then looting them it's, it's a little more free flow for me I, I like that a lot more um but it's a very 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 quick dungeon if you have a uh, farming character does not even a druid you should be able to complete this in 30 to 40 minutes and even on uh, on a druid it's a little faster if you have a speed druid it's, it's incredibly fast it's one of those dungeons that you can go into and you can do a lot of runs of really quickly and you get a lot of kills in here so if you get super lucky you can get one of the uh, epic recipes and whatnot so that would be really nice obviously but that is actually 10 runs right there um i don't think I, I i maybe i'll do more transmog in the future uh but i've kind of been reconsidering how i want to do it the, the the thing is it's a lot of these transmogs will take a very very long time to sell and what we might do is we might venture into maybe some open world farms uh but for now we're just going to keep to the solo farms we're going to keep to the very simple farms and the things that we know are going to sell and not the things that we potentially have to wait weeks or months for um, but I wanted to give you guys, or at least I wanted to try and do this a little bit differently. And the reason that I picked mana tombs is because there's also materials in there that sell for quite a lot of gold. So there's even more reason to do it. Right? There's not only the fact that you want to go for a transmog, you can also go for, for the materials. So that's like the main reason that I went in there. Um, now, obviously, we are back here at the auction house and we're gonna post what we have now oh I forgot to tell you guys so as we're running through here you can see that we actually sold eight Titan steel bars and we just bought these we just bought a couple of these you know uh, we bought 14 and we already sold eight of them for uh, for for a profit that's that's really good what is it selling for we're selling them for 1250 
so that's really nice and then we sold some pretty much all the serenite bars so everything that we got of serenite we already made it back uh so that's really nice actually we're just gonna take these seems like a good deal to me and then we sold free primal fire uh but i told you guys about that um so we have the transmog pieces here we're just gonna post them up on the auction house at the minimum buyouts and that is going to be that we actually have a couple primals here we can turn them into the primals then we'll keep the moats on us boom post that up at 70 gold we have that and then we'll keep the adamantite ore as well actually the the corium we might as well go smelt that real quick uh into two bars because that is where the value is on the corium so we'll do that real quick it's just gonna lag on me okay there we go and that is going to be it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode is i i know it was very auction house heavy but that's the whole point of this challenge we want to do uh, a bunch of things together uh and then and then you know try try to hit the as many corners of gold making as we can and obviously now that you guys have seen that we've been able to do a ton of different things obviously we did a lot of farming last week so that's why i wanted to wanted it to be a little more auction house heavy this this episode and i know it's a lot of the same but that's kind of what gold making is you you, you just do a lot of the same things to make gold and you can venture into to uh, other you know different different farms and different things that you want to do something that i did consider though going through and farming our um Going through and farming for the transmog is the fact that we have no bag space at all. Now, deep sea bags, 30 slot bags. I also want to check the newest one, which is strata cloth bag. They're actually 190, so they are cheaper. So we're going to take ourselves three of these. Because we only have one deep sea bag, but we might as well get three more. So we have way more space in our inventory because it's getting a little tight. It's getting a little tight in our, in, in our, in our bags here. So we'll pop that. Whoops. There we go. And there we go. Ah, so much nicer. Very, very good. Okay. But that, yeah, that is going to be it for me now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said earlier in the video, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys uh, like the video and you also subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you know when I'm posting next. And then also remember if if you forgot somehow remember to go down into the description look for the link for the giveaway on my twitter and make sure you join that for your chance and maybe getting six months of game time it would be very nice if you you won yourself that but yeah see ya